Okay, hi, good afternoon. Happy Holi to everyone and your families. Uh, thank you for the 150th game. Uh, highly honored and privileged. And after this, let's not make anything about this 150th game. Let's only talk about Afghanistan and India. Thank you. Decisions and execute the, the positions they are in. You know, mostly uh, us coaches uh, uh, say that we can help players and organize their game in first and the second third. In the final third, when it comes there, it's up to them. Show the quality, you know. And it's not easy for them because mostly, as you can see, they're not playing these positions, uh, uh, crucial posi positions in their club, apart from Sunil this season and no one else is there. Chante is recently playing as a, as a central forward player, you know. Vikram is playing on the left wing, entering from that position inside. Manvir is on the right wing or right fullback in the in the system three at the back. So, in three days' time, four days' time, to, to make that change, that's impossible, boys. It's impossible. We're going to put our best striking force there tomorrow. We're going to try to find a way, try to change few things. We're going to need some fresh legs also there. We, our intention is to start controlling the game from the very first minute with the various... I'm not sure whether I can use the word impressed. Uh, yeah, I think the I think in the first half there were a few chances that we should have taken. No matter who you're playing, when you go away and play, the chances don't uh, the chances come seldom. I think uh, as the game progressed, the game became more open. We were a little bit more desperate. When you start a game dominant and you miss chances, you generally have an idea that you know you are chasing the game because you want to win because you know you had the chances. So. When the game opened up, we the, the, the gaps between us a little, increased a little bit and then after 17 minutes it was anyone's game. We got a corner, so Washish could have scored that goal. They had a chance, they could have scored the goal. So it became, you, know, you attack, us attack, you attack and that's something that he doesn't like, we don't like to play like that. Uh, but now we are at home, we'll be more stable. Uh, and, and, yeah, and after probably tomorrow's game I can talk about what impressed me. Next question. Hello coach, hello uh, Sanjay. First of all, happy holiday to you and your families. Uh, my question is a two-part question. First of all, I guess to Igor sir. Uh, we are on uh, four points. Yeah, I mean, them being young doesn't help us at all. Them being good does. So whoever has come to the camp is because, the new ones I'm talking about, is because they have done something in the clubs and they have shown some supportation to the coach. What their age is has no bearing at all what the game is going to be. I mean, he doesn't care, we don't care at the camp too much. Apart from some silly jokes that they put on me, we don't talk about age. Whoever is good is going to start. You will not care if 40 year old or 20 year old is playing. You would want an India to win. So will I. So will so, so anyone. So I think that doesn't matter too much. Having said that, all the young ones who have come, they are all have come because they have potential. That that's what they have shown him. And yeah, they're just fighting for their places right now in the first level. And whoever gets a chance, will try and give their best, especially playing at home. Uh, hi sir, uh, happy only to both of you sir. Uh, so my question is to Sunil sir, sir uh, you will be playing in front of a home crowd this time and how important is it for you as a player, as a team to feel that atmosphere and was it something that was missing the last time around? To be very honest, we weren't missing the home crowd even in Afghanistan. We were, I mean, playing Afghanistan in our, it was unbelievable. They were, I'm not sure of the numbers but it was, the stadium was small comparatively and 70% of the stadium was full with Indian supporters. So I don't think we Indians, I mean, when we play football, no matter where we go, I mean, we have a joke flying around that even if you go to the moon, we'll find some Indians there. So we don't, I, 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 there, there, there isn't many places, there aren't many places where we have been and we haven't got the support, but yes, it is not going to be the same when we play at our own country, we know the atmosphere, we know people are going to come, it's different. Uh, and we really want to thrive on that, on that vibe because I mean, after the zero zero in Afghanistan, I can tell you that all the boys want to want to get back. We had a small episode in the dressing room where he wasn't happy, so all the boys are, are itching to, to to put it right at the next game. This is a loud The coach mentioned earlier that when don't go your way. There's a lot of negativity which comes to uh, say that it doesn't affect them. But as players, you and how do you help them? Do you think that they are 
with such reaction coming through the, to the players reading it, like you know, how do you read to the players? I try to tell them not to read it because few of them you can see get affected. I've been abused a million number of times on thick skin. But uh, yeah, because of the popularity of social media, you cannot uh, ignore the fact that people speak and they have opinions. But tell the guys to, to just, just calm down. People are watching a game, people are putting their time on you, they will have opinions and now the opinions can reach directly to your ears and your phone. That's all right. Don't read too much about it. Your work is to give your best in the ground. Some days you're going to be some days you're going to lose, some days you're going to win, some days you're going to be bad also. Just just accept it and, and, and improve. Not because people are speaking it, but because you need to. When you play for the country, there is no other excuses. Not every day is going to be good, but don't pay too much attention on the opinions because it's not going to help you. Not that it doesn't matter, but it never helps. Even if somebody is saying good things about you or bad things, it never helps you on the pitch. That's the way probably, that's why he, I'm pretty sure even he has been abused a lot in his career. So that's, that, that's why we are like that. I'm pretty sure it's a journey they will learn. I started loving it. <laughs> I, I can't say I love it, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm indifferent now because I know it doesn't help me. I, I respect the opinions, good or bad, but the youngsters, I always tell them, stay away. Because it's, it's everywhere now. You open your phone and it's everywhere. There are multiple ways of conveying what you felt after the game from the fans to the players. So, yeah. The fans can keep doing that. You, you're putting your energy and, and watching on games, do it, don't abuse, but say anything that you want and the players will learn. Thanks,